My work doing advocative videos has given me front seats to see the goodness in people, and for this, I am blessed. The reality is that so many great things are happening in our country, not necessarily created by those in power, but by the ordinary people from NGOs and government who have the heart to address these many pressing problems we see around us through what may seem to me as appreciative inquiry. Let us take for example disaster management officers in LGUs who find innovative ways to mitigate or keep to a minimum the effects of flooding and typhoon. They educate people in barangays how to make maps, simple maps with new information that will guide them during rescue. It motivates the people to do their best, knowing they can save the lives of friends family and even their own. Simple strategies with amazing results. We have witnessed very committed partnerships between NGOs and government who teach the youth in Muslim Mindanao a diversity of skills so they can find ways to lift up their lives and their families. If they are unable to go to college, they can begin their own careers or small businesses and be part of the solution out of their own poverty with work that not only sustains them but lifts up their self-esteem and worth. We do not really hear the good news from mainstream media that many fisher folks who used to practice dynamite fishing as a way of life have turned their back against it and are now cooperating with the police and fighting it off. There is so much hope because the goodness in people are being explored and appreciated instead of merely punishing and pushing them away. We once did a project that required us to film inside close to 15 MNLF camps scattered around the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao. This was in year 2000. We needed to document a UN project that taught them skills like driving, construction work, and even baking bread. Can you imagine a warrior baking bread? But they were excited then. Decades of war have made them oblivious to having a regular livelihood, and so this was something that the former combatants needed to start anew, and they welcomed it very much. Today, I have questioned whether projects like this, that lift up their courage to find themselves back into the mainstream of life, were sustained by the government. I am hoping that it has continued. NGOs have long been working hand in hand with government, not separate from them, but together in helping bring water systems to the Lumads in Mindanao. There are even sanctuaries of peace they have created so that the community members and leaders who were once mortal enemies with other communities are now living in harmony. What may seem before as impossible has turned possible 
because people do not stop believing in goodness that is inside even the coldest of hearts. This belief allowed change to take its course. And yes, right here in Metro Manila, tens and thousands of Filipinos living in danger zones have been planning their own livable communities through a government project aptly named People's Plan that will provide them in-city relocation in these beautiful areas. The people themselves supervise the construction and they are checking it just to make sure it is built as planned. Looking at these condominium buildings, many won't even believe that indigent people are moving in here as we speak. Simply amazing.